Hey everyone, it's Trey and Kayla and welcome to the February 27th edition of DSMS TV News. There's girls basketball practice after school from 2.40 to 4.10. Also, Mrs. Khan's spring concert is tonight. Good morning, Sidewinders. I'm happy to be in the news studio. I want to give a shout out to my news team here. What an awesome group of young people. Let me hear it. Shout out. There we go. Always, always a spirited production of Desert Shadows. We appreciate that. Wake up in the morning and get us going with our day. Boys and girls, uh, teachers and staff, a little kindness goes a long way. Last Friday, a group of NJHS students went to a nursing home to interact with a group of people who may sometimes feel like they're outside the mainstream of society. Their purpose was to engage strangers in conversation, get to know them, to show community and kindness. They didn't have to go far. In fact, the nursing home was in walking distance of Desert Shadows. I spoke with these students when they came back, and they were incredibly energized by this experience. Who would have guessed that groups of people who are separated by more than 60 years have so much to talk about? I'm sure that the residents of this home appreciated the special visit, but our DSMS students were improved by simply offering kindness and conversation to others. And when I thought about this later, the idea of taking kindness and comfort from DSMS to a special place outside of our gates, I wondered how are we doing within our own walls? How are we doing with, within our classmates? Most of us get respect for our elders. Most of us understand that we have compassion for the very young people. But how about our same age peers, our classmates, the people standing beside us at lunch, the people sitting next to us in our classrooms here? How are we doing? I'd like you to take a moment and think about the kindness, the kindest thing that someone has done for you in the last few school days. Take a moment, reflect back. Past few days, school days. Where do you see kindness at Desert Shadows? Perhaps someone comforted you during a difficult moment. Perhaps a teacher gave you a special encouragement. Perhaps a friend stood up for you at a time when you really needed it. All 900 plus students and faculty too do people treat you with kindness on a regular basis? Another interesting question. If we've all been thinking about who has treated us with kindness over the last few days, what are the chances that there are others at Desert Shadows who were thinking about you? What have you done to improve the kindness meter at Desert Shadows? You know, these trips to the nursing home have clear value for those who attended and shared. Future trips are planned. But for those of us who are here, we can make a difference today. There's a need, need for kindness and community at Desert Shadows. There are students here who may feel sometimes like they're not valued, not worthy of conversation or caring. And I don't believe that that's true. And when we see that, we need to address it with kindness and conversation and caring. Let's think about what difference we can make in the classroom, at lunch or perhaps after school to make De Desert Shadows an even better place with kindness. Thank you for listening to this message. Now to the birthdays of Damien. Hey, it's Damien with the birthdays. Today's birthdays are Avishkar Deshmane, Caitlin Koch, Jennifer Roberts, Garrett Westfall, Kellen Bruman, Sky Brown, Peyton Zegler, tomorrow's birthdays are Mason Wolf, Samuel Schnanefelt. Sorry for pronouncing any names wrong. Now back to the anchors. Are, are we back? Yeah. Oh, we have five more yearbooks left. After this, they're all gone, so get them quick. And also, there's a half day tomorrow. That's all for today, DSMS. Have, have a, a magical Monday! <laughs>